Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Death of Art. Here we have the 191st Street Tunnel that connects Broadway and 191st Street to the IRT one train on St. Nicholas Avenue about a block and a half away. A few years ago, they actually revitalized this tunnel and put a lot of sort of public art in this tunnel that was basically abstract and very safe. We're now here in 2020, five years later, and this is a typical New York street art trajectory that we're looking at of what happens to public art that has no connection to the neighborhood or the people that live here. Let's take a walk. This is all that is left of the state-sanctioned beautification project that happened five years ago. Basically, this is not even real graffiti. This is an approximation of graffiti done by non-graffiti writers. This is not a product of the neighborhood, the culture that is up here. What you see here are a bunch of low-grade throw-ups, basically. A throw-up is simply a fill and an outline, and it's done in a big hurry so you can get in and out, get your name up. It's all about getting up. It's not about fine art. All of this weird stripey stuff, that's part of the beautification project. And the thing that's nice about this is that it actually makes a great background for what the locale, the local teenagers, actually did here. Imagine if this was all primer white or whatever the beige color that the MTA usually does. This would be kind of an ugly tunnel. But they found a beautiful canvas to actually vandalize. Graffiti writers, not just from this neighborhood, but from all over Manhattan and possibly other boroughs, came down here because it was an easy place to get up. And what have you, you have a tunnel filled with local real art. This is a group development across all of youth society. And here you see the result. This beautification project was basically a bunch of soulless op art. And this whole tunnel has become so much more complex and has so much more depth after these kids basically vandalized this tunnel. Back in the day, graffiti was very serious business. The simple act of clipping somebody else's throw up or piece could involve violence. Here is a typical example of somebody dogging another person's throw up. These cross lines are basically whoever, the person knew this person, hated them, and wanted to disrespect the piece. His name was probably, what is it, Hendrix? Hendrix 56. And Whoever this guy was behind here, he didn't like very much and was willing to cross out his stuff and actually go to war for it. Could involve a fight. I don't know if that still happens nowadays, but I'm sure, why not? Strangely enough, one of the best pieces in this tunnel, I think, is part of the original beautification project. This piece is actually classic New York City wild style, and it's very well done. Holding a two pound spray paint can and getting all of these fine lines so accurately with no drips is a lot harder than it looks. And here we are at the end of the tunnel. We have one last Cool little amalgamation of graffiti. Most of this, I think, is original. This is vandalism, supposedly. And then we're into the MTA system, and it all stops. It's all over. Please like, please subscribe, and please ring the bell.